Winners and losers there. I've got to say, Matzo Janowski down in 14th certainly would have been disappointed there. But the top three, let's just have a good look at that. Max Frick, decent effort from Max Frick. We'll be pleased with his um, uh, work here this evening. Last year's winner, of course. On a 13.223, that puts him into third place. And uh, I'm sure they'll uh, be more than satisfied with that. And uh, in second place, we'll see the silky smooth style. That's the silky smooth style of uh, Max Frick. And uh, we like the look of him, that's for sure. But this man came from 14th. He came into his last session and he produced a stunning time of 13.175 on his 13th lap. And no real surprise, he seems to be able to find it when he really needs it. And he um, pushed his way up into second place, giving himself a very good opportunity for a good pick for tomorrow evening's Grand Prix. We're actually doing qualifying ordinarily on the permanent tracks. We do the qualifying at one o'clock on race day, but we are five o'clock in the evening. We started qualifying, but this man, what a what an um, uh, evening's work this is. This is really great stuff from him. Has not been renowned for his qualifying speed. Really hasn't shown anything remotely like this up until this very point, but clearly he's back in full health. He's in good form. He's in third in the championship chase and comes out on top. That's a great effort from him. Great effort, known as fast Freddy Lindgren. We haven't seen that speed in qualifying until today. And a mighty fine effort from him. He actually looked quick. He looked like he was carrying speed everywhere.